Welcome and thank you for joining us. We are presenting a question that was done in KCSC 2007, paper 2, number 17. And the question we have reads, a tank has two inlet taps, P and Q, and an outlet tap R. When empty, the tank can be filled by tap P alone in four and a half hours and by Q in three hours. When full, the tank can be emptied in two hours by tap R. But A, the tank is initially empty. Find how long it would take to fill up the tank. We are going to start by breaking down the question. We have the inlet tab P, which takes four and a half hours to fill the tank. Four and a half hours converted into improper fraction becomes 9 over 2 hours. If P fills the tank in 9 over 2 hours, the fraction done in 1 hour would be equal to 1 divided by 9 over 2, which gives us 9 over, which gives us 2 over 9. Then we have Q, which fills the tank in 3 hours meaning in one hour the fraction done is going to be a third we have also another tab r which empties the tank in two hours that means the fraction emptied in one hour would be half we have been told in part a roman one tab r is closed and the p Q are opened at the same time. So we need to calculate the time taken for the tank to be full when P and Q are working. So we have to start by looking at the fraction done by P and Q in one hour. To find the fraction done by P and Q in one hour, we take the fraction done by P in one hour. We add the fraction done by Q in one hour. So this becomes 2 over 9 plus a third, which gives us which gives us 5 over 9. 5 over 9 is the fraction of the work done or the fraction of the tank filled by P and Q in one hour. To find the time taken, time taken to fill the tank, you simply take the fraction of the work, you simply take, sorry, the work to be done is 1, you divide by the fraction done by both in 1 hour, which is 5 over 9. This is the same as having 1 times 9 over 5, giving us 9 over 5, which gives us 1 and 4 over 5 hours. 1 and 4 over 5 hours is the same as 1.8 hours, or simply 1 hour, or 1 hour, 48 minutes. That is part A Roman 1. We move to part A Roman 2. Part A Roman 2 says, if all the three tabs are opened at the same time, find the time it will take to fill up the tank. So again, we begin by looking at the fraction done by all in one hour. To get the fraction of the tank that is filled by all in one hour, we take the fraction of the work done in one hour by P, which is 2 over 9. We add the fraction done by, by R, that is by Q, in one hour, which is a third. We minus the one done by R, which is a half, because R is removing the water. And if you take 2 over 9 plus a third minus a half, you are going to get 1 out of 18, 
that the one out of 18 is the fraction of the work done by all the three in one hour. So the time taken to fill up, time taken to fill the tank would be obtained by taking the total, which is one, you divide by, that is one is the whole tank, divide by the fraction filled by all in one hour. This is going to give us one times 18 over one, which is going to single down to 18 hours as the time taken for the tank to be full when all the three tabs are running. We move to part B of the question. B, we are told the tank is initially empty and the three tabs are opened as follows. We have P at 8 a.m. and Q at 8.45 a.m. It means P, P fills from 8 to 8.45 am that means we have 45 minutes there 45 minutes is the same as 45 over 60 into hours giving us 0 0.0.75 0 .75 hours and we know p fills 2 over 9 of the tank in one hour. That means if in one hour 2 over 9 of the work is done of, or 2 over 9 of the tongue is filled, then fraction filled in 0 0.75 hours will be equal to 0 0.75 we multiply by 2 over 9 and this one gives us 1 over 6. 1 over 6 is the fraction done by P in 45 minutes. Then we have from 8.45 to 9 a.m. We have 15 minutes. And the P and the Q, P and the Q are open for these 15 minutes, so we can find the fraction of the work done or the tank filled in 15 minutes. We know fraction filled by P and Q in one hour is equal to, already we have done that, is 5 over 9. So we need to calculate the fraction filled in 15 minutes. Remember 15 minutes. Remember 15 minutes is the same as 15 out of 60 in hours, which gives us 0 0.25 hours. And therefore now fraction filled. Fraction filled in 0 0.25 hours by P and Q would be equal to 0 0.25 to multiply by the fraction done by P and Q in one hour, which is 5 over 9. And this one gives us 5 over 36. So that means the fraction or the total fraction done the total fraction done by 9 a.m. will be equal to what was filled by P in 45 minutes, which is 1 over 6, plus what has been done by P and Q for 15 minutes, which is 5 over 36. And so far, the total fraction filled by 9 a.m will be equal to 11 over 36 and that is i think what the question wants us to calculate 
Roman 1 of B, the fraction of the tank that would be filled by 9 a.m. And now we move to Roman 2 of part B. And Roman 2, the time the tank would be fully filled. That means now we have to calculate the fraction that is not filled. So if the fraction done or filled by 9 a.m. is 11 over 36, let us find the fraction or the unfilled fraction. Unfilled fraction would be obtained by taking the total minus 11 over 36, which gives us 25 over 36. And in this case now, this is the fraction to be filled by all the three tabs running. We must again find fraction done. Fraction done by all in one hour. We have already gotten that to be the fraction done by all in one hour is 1 over 18. And therefore to get the time taken, time taken to fill, time taken to fill 25 over 36 of the tank that is left will be obtained by the work to be done is 25 will be obtained by taking 25 over 36, which is the fraction to be filled by all the three, you divide by the fraction filled, you divide by the fraction filled by all in one hour, which is one over 18. This is the same as having 25 over 36, you multiply by 18 over one, 18 goes to itself once it goes to 36 two times, that means we are going to have 25 divided by 2 giving us 12.5 hours. And for us to get the time when the tank time when the tank will be full. Remember they have started filling this fraction at 9 a.m. You add 12 hours. 30 minutes and this one is going to give us 9 30 p.m. in the evening thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you will automatically be given a notification